Hey, what's up? I am Michelle B, and we all know that I love New Year's. I'm the last person to talk crap about New Year New Me. I love the vibes that New Year's brings. But in Atomic Habits by James Clear, he mentions something called the fresh start effect, which is a real thing where basically you are more likely to actually take action at the start of a new week, at the start of a new month, at the start of a new year. When you have more of what feels like a clean slate, your hope is higher, which means that you're more likely to do something. However, setting all of that aside, you can make a change at literally any point in your life. And I hope that you all recognize that. At any point in time, in between the new years, the new months, the new weeks, on a Wednesday, this Wednesday, you can go crazy. You can set some new goals for yourself, set some new sides, create that clean slate, fresh feeling. So in this video, I wanted to talk about some very little things that you can do to sort of recreate that fresh start effect that I was talking about at the start of the video. These are just like tiny little changes that you can make in your life to create artificially that clean slate feeling that you do get on a Monday, on the start of a new month, on the start of a new year. These are just like little micro things to say, hey, what's up? We have a fresh start going here. So firstly, clean your car. Obviously a super clean house is going to leave you with that fresh feeling, but if you're someone like me that doesn't get around to cleaning their car that often, then having a clean car feels really freaking good. Nothing feels better than driving around in your freshly vacuumed, freshly cleaned car. If you're feeling wild, go to a literal car wash and get it properly cleaned. Secondly, have a life admin day. I find that setting aside a day to literally just get through all those like nagging little to-dos that you've been procrastinating, all of the little rocks, is a really motivating way to kick you into that fresh start mode. Like afterwards you just feel really good and you do feel like you've got a clean slate where you've ticked off all these to-dos so you can kind of fill it with better to-dos. <laughs> I did this in my Reset Your Life Challenge and you guys really seem to like it so I'm going to do more of those throughout the year. I'll have it linked up here and down below if you want to watch that to get yourself motivated to do your own life admin day. Thirdly, revisit your productivity system. Systems. So Thomas Frank, who is the guy behind a college info geek, just released a course on Skillshare going through how to set up a full productivity system. It's super actionable and it goes through the literal system that he uses. This video is brought to you by Skillshare, which is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes in things like design, photography, um, productivity, using Final Cut Pro, using Photoshop, using Lightroom, all of the things. So premium membership on Skillshare actually gives you unlimited access to all of these courses by really high quality creators. And you can also join little communities filled with people that are working on the same New Year's goals as you. Whether you want to grow your mind, grow your curiosity, grow your creativity, or even your career, Skillshare is a place to go to continue learning and thriving for 2019. It's also super affordable and annual subscription is less than $10 a month. If you want to join the community of more than 7 million creators that are on Skillshare, you can use the link in the description below. The first 500 of my subscribers to use that link will get their first two months for free. And set yourself up with a new productivity system following Thomas Frank's course. Next up, declutter and reorganize the room that has been annoying you. If there's one room in your house that's been irritating you for a little while, then it's time to have a relook at that room. Just set aside like a day to go ham, reorganize and get that room so that it is nice and usable. You obviously don't need to buy new furniture or new decor unless that's something that you would like to do. But I would just say like move things around and make it the most usable you can possibly make it. Do some decluttering if that's something that you need to do. Create homes for everything and just create a usable space that you're happy with. Do a social media declutter. You should be in control of your feed. Curate your feed to stuff that only makes you happy or makes you feel inspired or makes you feel motivated. Clean out your fridge. Once again, we love a good clear out and the fridge is one area that often doesn't get as much love as it probably should get. You might even want to do it like Pinterest style. There are so many inspiring Pinterest images of clean fridges that I'm so envious of. Have a weekend away. Obviously this is a little bit more of an expensive one, but I find that weekends away are super, super refreshing. Often myself included, we make the mistake of having like really long holidays, like eight week holidays. And we're like, yep, yeah, that's what we'll do. And that will leave us feeling refreshed for the whole year. But I find like little mini resets actually work better. And this is backed up by the book Rest, which I'll link down below. 
you're actually better off mentally for that fresh start like holiday feeling to spread your holidays throughout the year into smaller chunks. Put yourself in a place with a lot of nature if you can, especially if you're someone who is from a city or from somewhere that doesn't have much nature accessible because nature is incredibly rejuvenating. Create a monthly review habit. So this is just a way to create a fresh start feeling every single month. So I want to start doing monthly more reflections and less like resets. So my weekly reset is like getting things done and doing all the things and writing down my to-dos. Reflection should be more about like, okay, like am I enjoying my life right now? How are my buckets going in terms of like connection, spirituality, whatever it may be. It's almost like what you would do at New Year's but a mini version of it and just doing it on a monthly basis. So you're not relying on that one time a year, New Year's. That's when I really look at my life time. Get rid of apps that you don't use on your phone because a clear phone screen equals a clear mind. I don't know about that, but it certainly makes you feel good. Change your phone screensaver. I did this recently and it's actually made me so happy. It does create this just little like fresh start effect in your mind. It's like, ooh, new phone screen, new me. Attend a seminar. Obviously this isn't something that you can do like on the spot, but it's likely something that you can book throughout the year. I always find that going to inspiring events is very inspiring and it leaves me filled with all of these ideas and these thoughts of things that I want to do. And I get really excited about life. Not that I'm not excited about life all the time, but you know, it just adds that little extra oomph. Actually, I'm not excited about life all the time. Not No one is excited about life all the time. I'm not going to set that unrealistic expectation slash standard. Get a new notebook or refresh an old notebook. I don't want to encourage you to buy things in this video because that's unnecessary for a fresh start feeling. There are lots of little things that you can do that do not cost any money. But if your notebooks are like worn, pretty much all used and just uninspiring, getting a new notebook is a really good way to feel fresh. Finally, clear your email inbox. Inbox zero, aim for the stars. Have a serious pamper day. I've actually never had a pamper day specifically, so this is something that I wanna do at some point this year. A pamper day is like a get your hair done, get your nails done, get a fake tan, exfoliate your body, probably pre-fake tan, pedicure, have a pedicure kind of day, and. I'm sure there are budget-friendly versions of this kind of day as well. Feeling fresh, clean with your hair cut, like maybe a new hairstyle, a new something is a really good way to create that little fresh start feeling, even if it is a little bit artificial. Have a serious self-care day. So a self-care day I see as different from a pamper day. I did a proper big self-care day, which is like one of the first self-care days that I've done since like my birthdays pretty much. That's usually my main self-care day, which is not good. I need to schedule more of them during the year. I'll have that link down below because I included like a ton of ideas for other things that you could do during your own self-care day. Once again, this is something that you can schedule throughout the year and you can recreate that fresh start effect on those self-care days. Refresh your reading list, your adventures list, and your to watch list. I have a few videos that I've made on lists to make to improve your life, lists to make to organize your life. I'll have those linked up here and down here, but revisiting those lists, refining them, making sure that all of the books that are on them, the adventures that are on them, or the movies that are on them are actually things that you still want to watch, that you're interested in and maybe adding new stuff to them is a really reinvigorating feeling. It's an easy way to get started feeling like a little bit more excited about what you have in your future and recreating that fresh start effect. If you liked this video and you kind of like this format of video, which is like a big old list, I'm going to have a link to my 20 ways to simplify your life. I'm going to have that linked on the screen. May not be 20, beware. I do actually get a lot of comments because I make a lot of New Year's videos sort of being like, well, New Year's is silly because you can do this at any time of year. And I do agree, but I do think that New Year's holds this little bit of a magical feeling and it feels a little bit more community-ish. Everyone's kind of doing the same thing. These are all like really fun little ways to create that fresh start effect, but like really you don't even need to do any of these. Sure, it is going to help if you like clean your house like a mad woman to create that fresh start effect. It might leave you feeling a little bit inspired, but realistically you can sit in your messy ass room with your to-do list that is a mile long and you can still start changing your life and start doing new things for yourself at absolutely any point in time. Please don't think that you need to do any of the things in this video to actually start doing things with your life or that you need to wait for a certain time of year or that you need to wait for another person to push you to do something or that you need to wait for anything external to yourself to do something for yourself. If you have a lot of learning goals for 2019, don't forget to check out the Skillshare link in the description below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys so freaking much um, and I will see you in the next video.